it's Brian from Moment to Ponder. I haven't made any uh, videos lately. I have some plans for a few. Um, did get out some, uh, some, recorded some podcasts, so hopefully I can make a couple of companion videos uh, to those podcasts, but we'll see. We're going to get on that. Uh, but right now, it is, what is it, the 22nd of March. Um, and yesterday, Ruger, the Sturm Ruger and Company, uh, NYSE RGR, uh, came out with a press release. It's kind of uh, somewhat telling. Somewhat, I don't know if it's telling, but it could be. Uh, it's definitely interesting. So here it is. I'm going to read the actual press release from printed from their website. Sturm Ruger and Company, Incorporated announced today that for the first quarter of 2012, the company has received orders for more than 1 million units. The company has received... Blah, blah, blah. Therefore, the company has temporarily suspended the acceptance of new orders. Interesting. Chief Executive Officer Michael O. Pfeiffer made the following comments. Bullet point. Uh, the company's retailer programs that were uh, offered from January 1st, 2012 through February 29th, 2012 were very successful and generated significant orders from retailers to independent wholesale distributors for Ruger firearms. Year to date, the independent wholesale distributors placed the orders with the company for more than 1 million Ruger firearms. So that's in less than three full months, a million orders. Despite the company's continuing successful efforts to increase production rates, the incoming order rate exceeds our capacity to rapidly fulfill these orders. Consequently, the company has temporarily suspended the acceptance of new orders. The company expects to resume normal acceptance of orders by the end of May 2012. The company will announce its results and file its quarterly report on Form 10-Q for the first quarter of 2012 on Tuesday, May 1, 2012, after the close of the stock market. It's interesting, because right after Obama was elected, uh, you couldn't find ammo. You just couldn't buy it. It, it wasn't available. It was so... It, would, it wouldn't even make it to the shelves. I mean, people would wait in line when they knew an order came in for a store. Um... There's a lot of speculation on the reason why, whether there was military uh, orders that needed to, that got priority or whatever. But uh, one of the theories is that people were worried that Obama wasn't going to let you buy stuff anymore. They were going to tax them individually or something along those lines. So there was kind of a run on ammunition there for a long time. I mean, anything. I couldn't even find 22 ammunition. I could only find the shot shells, you know. It, it was crazy. Um, and 9mm, forget about it. There was some odd stuff on the shelves, but really nothing pistol quality, uh, you know, that you could get. So, is this announcement that people are buying guns so fast they can't even make them? Is it indicative that, you know, maybe people are worried about Obama winning again, and if he gets a second term, he's going to do something? I know there's been speculation on that. I don't know if I agree with that or not. Um, especially with the recent Supreme Court decisions. But you never know. I mean, didn't say he can't tax guns, you know. So, you know, maybe he's going to tax them and people want to get them before they tax them or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and, you know, maybe this is going to make it worse, right? You know, hey, the news is out there. There's a run on guns. Now let's run on guns. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually in the market for guns, so hopefully it's not... Because I don't want the prices to skyrocket, and I want one to be available when I when I go buy one. So, <coughs> just something to ponder, something to think about. Uh, you know, if you're planning on buying a gun anyway, maybe it's not the best time to wait. You know, get out there and do it. Um, I'm shooting myself in the foot saying that, but you know, think about it. Have a good one, Brian. Out.